Whose wife is a vampire? This guy's wife is a vampire because she only came to the party after sunset. Whose husband is a werewolf? The girl on the left is sweeping up her cat's hair. See? There's a cat in the background. Meanwhile, there are scratches on the floor and walls in the house of the girl on the right. And this shoe has a torn front. Her husband must be a werewolf. Whose wife is actually a ghost? The woman on the right is wearing a ghost costume. It's Halloween. But the woman on the left is a real ghost because we can't see her legs under the sheet. Whose husband is actually a zombie? The man on the left is just sick. The man on the right is a zombie because he's the only one who doesn't eat human food and has an empty plate. Water lilies grow on the lake. Every day, their number doubles. The lilies will completely cover the entire surface of the lake in 48 days. How many days will it take them to cover half of the lake? Forty-seven days. You see, every day the number of the water lilies doubles. On day 48, the lake will be completely covered with lilies. It means that on day 47, there will be twice as few lilies as on day 48. Jack noticed that someone regularly ruins his lawn. He decided to install a hidden camera and figure out who approached his house most often. After four days, he decided to check the footage and immediately realized who the culprit was. Can you guess who it is? Jack's neighbor Karen ruins his lawn. She's present in all the photos, but she tries to disguise herself so that she can't be recognized. A woman didn't have her driver's license with her. She didn't stop at a railroad crossing when the barrier was lowered, then ignoring the stop sign. She moved in the wrong direction along a one-way street and stopped only after passing three intersections. Traffic police officers, seeing all this, decided not to interfere. Why? The woman first traveled by train and then walked. Mary is trying to enter an ice castle to save her friend Logan, but there's a combination lock on the gate. Luckily, there's a clue carved on the ice. Here it is. 162. One number is correct and in the right place. 842. Two numbers are correct but in the wrong place. 526. Nothing is correct. Can you guess the code? The passcode is 184. First, we exclude 2 and 6, since in 526, no number is correct. In 842, two numbers are correct, so two of the numbers we need are 8 and 4. The last number must be 1, and since 1 is in its place, we can easily figure out where 8 and 4 must go. Mary opens the gate and enters the castle. She walks down an icy corridor and comes across three doors. There is a severe snowstorm behind the first door. In the second room, there's a dangerous snow dragon. And behind the third door, there's a lake covered with a layer of dark blue ice. Which door should Mary choose? The dragon is a definite no-no. The dark blue ice is thin and unsafe. Mary is likely to just fall into the lake. The first door is the best option. Mary crosses the room and finds herself in a long corridor. The Ice Queen's monsters start chasing her. The girl runs down the hallway and sees another three doors made of clear ice. There's a magical snow parrot in the first room. The second room is filled with water. And there's a small black room behind the third door. It looks more like a locker. Which door should Mary hide behind to avoid being found?
The Ice Queen's parrot behind the first door will scream when it sees Mary. The third door is a bad option because the doors are made of clear ice, so the monsters will spot her immediately. The second door is the best option. Mary swims away and finds herself in a big hall. She sees Logan, and they're about to run away together when the Ice Queen captures them in a cage. There are three levers next to the cage, and the Ice Queen gives Mary these hints. The first lever is going to open the cage, but they'll fall into a freezing cold underground lake. The second lever will open all the cages in the castle and release all the monsters that are inside. The third lever will open the cage, but only one person will be able to get out. What should the guys do? They should pull the third lever and let Logan out. After that, they should pull the first lever. Mary will fall into the water, but Logan will help her get out of the lake. John decided to make a vegetable salad for his friends. To prepare for it, he will need three peppers and the same number of tomatoes. And he needs fewer cucumbers than tomatoes, but more than radishes. How many different vegetables will John use in the salad? Nine point three peppers, three tomatoes, two cucumbers, and one radish. A professor went to have his lunch break, leaving three students in the lecture hall. When he returned, he realized that an answer sheet for an important exam had disappeared from his desk. He questioned the students. Kyle said, "Ten minutes after you'd left, my mom called me and asked me to meet with her near the college building. When I returned, the sheet was already gone." Brian said. No one called Kyle. He took something from your desk and left. And Ryan said, "Brian is telling the truth. When we realized that it was an answer sheet, we ran after him outside, but he had already left. Who should the professor believe?" Ryan and Brian are lying. They said they had run after Kyle outside, but it was raining, and they're both dry. Which of these artists is suspicious? The girl on the right has been using orange paint, not red. Then why do her clothes have red stains? Who is suspicious at this party? The second girl marked this glass. To know which of them contained poison, which of these students is suspicious? Student three only pretends to be writing; he's actually reading a magazine. Which of these women is suspicious? The woman on the right is only pretending to be pregnant. A prince married a simple girl and brought her to the palace. His mother, the queen, didn't like it at all. She started watching the girl and discovered that she secretly took some jewelry out of the palace and hid it in the ground under an oak tree. The queen immediately went to the prince and told him about it. The prince checked under the oak tree and actually found the jewels. His wife started begging him, "My prince, I swear, I didn't steal it for myself. I'm leaving the jewelry here so that my family can pick it up later." But the queen said, "She is lying to you. She hides the jewelry here because she wants to sell it when she runs away from the palace." Who's lying? The girl's lying. No one forbids her to visit her family or give them whatever they need openly. She hides it because she'll need the money after running away. John had a lunch break, so he went to the butcher to buy some meat. He asked the butcher to cut the meat in a specific way. The butcher asked if John was a firefighter. John said yes. How did the butcher guess John's profession? John was still wearing his uniform when he went on his lunch break. Mary went to the forest to pick some berries and mushrooms. Some time later, the girl realized she had gotten lost, 
Suddenly, she heard the trees crackling behind her back. There was a monster approaching! Mary ran as fast as she could and managed to get away from the monster. She saw a small house and went inside. An elderly lady lived in the house. She said she would help Mary, but Mary immediately realized that this lady was a shapeshifter. She was the monster in the forest! How did Mary know that? Have you noticed that the elderly woman has the same symbol on her hand as the monster had? Luckily, it turned out that the woman was not actually evil. She helped Mary to get out of the forest. The elderly lady from the forest has three cats. Snowball, Bella, and Lisa. They usually sleep on three different pillows, yellow, pink, and blue. Bella likes sleeping on the pink pillow. Snowball never chooses either pink or blue. Think about it and try to guess which pillow each of the cats sleeps on. Bella sleeps on the pink pillow, Snowball lies on the yellow one, and Lisa sleeps on the blue one. Now it's time to think fast. Why is Santa Claus so good at karate? Because he has a black belt, duh. What bear has no teeth? Marmalade bear. How can you make a rattlesnake cry? Take the rattle away. Okay, I'll show you two profiles. Your task is to guess which of the two is fake. Let's start. Which profile is fake? It must be the left one. The girl is only 13 years old. She can't be doing her PhD. What about these two? The person on the right was born on February 29. It's fine. This date does exist. But there was no February 29th in 1985, because it only occurs every four years. So, the profile on the right must be fake. The left profile is fake. Pilots are supposed to have perfect vision, so the guy is probably lying about something. Take a good look at these profiles. Okay, Pan Am and Narnia are two fictional places, so I'd say the left profile is a fake one. What can you say about these two? Well, as far as I know, 14-year-olds can't get married in Canada, so the profile on the right is fake. Now I'll show you some photos. Your task is to guess what's wrong with them. Let's begin. Here's the first one for you. Look, this train is transporting a modern car. But it's the Wild West. There were no cars back then. Can you tell what's wrong here? It's medieval times. But look, there's a 10-story building in the background. What about this picture? Do you see anything strange? The woman is wearing sneakers. Now look closely. What seems odd here? This woman has a modern camera. I don't think people had them back then. What do you think about this photo?
The mountain in the background is green. There's no snow. Keep going. What's wrong here? Look, that guy in the back, he's wearing sneakers. Not the best thing to be wearing to a ball. Plus, this kind of footwear didn't exist back then. Be very attentive. Can you spot an odd detail here? This guy has three hands. How handy! Ryan had a crush on a girl from his school, Amelia. Once, he got a note from her saying that she liked him. So Ryan decided to write her back and ask her to prom. Unfortunately, he didn't remember which desk was Amelia's. There were two possibilities. Can you tell which desk is the one he needs? If you remember, the note was written in green ink. There's a similar green pen lying on the desk on the right. So this is most likely Amelia's desk. One Monday morning, a big sum of money went missing from the accountant's safe. Three people were in the office at that time. Magnolia, the accountant, said she'd left for several minutes to go to the bathroom. Walker, a software manager, said he'd gone out for lunch and hadn't seen anything. Dawson, a cleaning man, said he had been cleaning the second floor at the time. Can you figure out who's lying? It's Walker. He said he had been on his lunch break, but it was still morning at that time. Tessa works in a clothing store in the suburbs. She doesn't usually have many customers. One day, she only had three. The first person got a belt and a purse, the second got a dress, and the third customer got a hat. One of them was a criminal, and Tessa reported them to the police. Who is the criminal, and how did the girl understand it? The third customer gave her a $1,000 bill, and such bills don't exist. During her winter vacation, Serena went to the spookiest house in the neighborhood by herself. That was a mistake, because once she entered, the door got locked behind her. She saw three ways out. Behind the first door, there was a huge venomous spider. Behind the second door, there was a brick wall. Behind the third door, there was a huge lake. Which way should she opt for? She should take the third way. It's winter, and the lake is frozen. Serena told her friends what had happened to her, but no one believed her. The next day, Leslie went to that house too. The same thing happened. The door got locked, and the girl saw three dangerous ways out. A fire was raging behind the first door. Behind the second door, there was an angry ghost. If she opened the third door, a huge chunk of glass would fall down on her head. Which way should Leslie choose? Well, if I were her, I'd choose the second way. Ghosts, even angry ones, can't physically harm you. They can only freak you out. Now, look at the pictures I'll show you and try to find the odd image. Yep, it's right here. Another one for you. Be very attentive. Look, here it is! Now, let's make it harder. Here's a picture of many plants. Can you find two that are the same? Here's one, here's the other. Can you find two similar images here? Look, here they are! Okay, now I have a maze for you. Can you find a way out? (laughs) 
Right, that was <laughs> amazing. Here's another puzzle for you. Help A find her way to her best friend B. That's how she can do it. And another maze, the hardest one so far. Can you help the dog find its favorite plush toy? Here it is! Kai and Nate went camping in the woods. Now look, Kai is climbing a tree, and Nate is picking up some firewood for the campfire. Who's in danger? Nate, a bear is approaching him. The guy should be very careful. Ella and Grace are late for school, so they're taking a shortcut. Ella chose to go through the forest, and Grace decided to go across a frozen lake. Who is in danger? Grace, the ice on the lake is melting. There are cracks over there. Pierce's daughter and Andre's son came back home after studying at their friend's house. Neither of the parents got suspicious, but someone's kid had been to a party instead of studying. Whose kid was it? Andre's. Her son has a lipstick stain on the collar of his polo shirt. I'm guessing that was courtesy of Pierce's daughter. Gabriella and Emily are best friends. One of them is pregnant, and the other one just pretends to be pregnant to get some perks. Can you figure out which girl is faking? I'd say it's Gabrielle. Look, she's wearing really high heels, so she's probably not afraid of slipping and falling. If she was pregnant, she'd be more careful, you'd think. One day, Los Angeles police were warned that the infamous robber Samuel had left Spain and taken a plane to Los Angeles. The only detail the police knew was that the criminal had a beard. At the airport, they stopped a group of people who had just arrived from different countries. The detectives noticed three bearded men and interrogated them. The first guy said that he'd come from London. The second one said he'd arrived from Spain, but his name was Cristiano. The third man said he'd come from Poland to have a vacation. The detectives didn't even need to check their plane tickets to figure out who the robber was. Who do you think the criminal is? It must be the man who said he'd come from Poland. He's supposed to be on vacation, but he doesn't have any luggage with him. Leela called the police and reported that she had been robbed. She said that she had been in a restaurant's bathroom, fixing her makeup. Suddenly, someone came up to her and hit her on the head. The person had approached her from behind. That's why she didn't see what they looked like. But the police sent the woman home and refused to file the report. Why? The woman said she'd been fixing her makeup. Then she had to be looking in the mirror. If someone had tried to approach her from behind, she would have seen that person. But she said she hadn't. She must have made up the whole story. Several girls went missing in a small town. The police only managed to find them half a year after the first one had disappeared. When officers entered the place, they saw just three girls. They all said they had been locked in a small room and had never left it. The detectives knew that one of them was the kidnapper. The first girl, Eleanor, said she'd spend around a half a year there. The second girl, Vera, said she had been confined there for two months. The third girl, Sienna, said she had been there just a week. Can you guess who's lying? It must be Vera. Look, both Vera and Sienna have a pretty manicure. It's okay for Sienna, because she's only spent a week there. But Vera's manicure would be all messed up after being locked for two months.